Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 112. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, demystify the roll forward phases. So we know that there are two uh, phases to the roll forward activity. So one is your forward phase, another is the backward phase. People also call as redo, undo like that. So I'm going to give some more clarity see, because when I read this, I was really getting confused between the redo and the undo phases. So I'm going to bring, I want to bring uh, some more clarity into this. So all my um, scripts and data files are available for free in db 2 luwacademyblogspotin This slide talks about the problem scenario and solution. So the problem scenario is uh, we want to demonstrate, like uh, we want to demystify the the phases of the forward phase and backward phase of the uh, roll forward command. Now, if now the question is, if there is 100 MB of transactions and then you are running a commit, again, there is a in the log files 100 MB of transactions and there, there is a rollback, again, 100 MB of transaction, there is a commit, again, 100 MB of transaction, there is a rollback. Now, the critical question is how much of bytes you are going to see in the forward phase and how much of bytes you're going to see in the backward phase. If you are able to answer this question correctly, then you have a pretty good understanding of uh, what is the forward phase and redo phase and what the backward phase and undo phase is undoing. So you, you, you have that uh, understanding. So the, let me give you the incorrect answer. So the incorrect answer is like if you associate like for example, this is the forward phase, it will redo all the transactions. So there are 200 MB of committed transactions. So it will replay 200 MB of committed transactions. And in the backward phase, which is like an undo phase, where it is all rolling back the changes and un uh, uncommitted changes. So you will find rolling back of transactions. So 200 MB of transactions are to be rolled back. So if you are saying that in forward phase, there will be 200 MB and in backward phase, there will be 200 MB, you are completely incorrect. So what is the correct understanding or what is the correct answer? So the correct answer is the forward phase is like a redo phase. It will redo all the 400 MB. Okay, so see 100 MB of transactions will be replayed. There will be a commit again. So all these things will be done. Okay, so it replays the complete open plus closed transactions. So look, look at the word here. So if you are choose, if you are saying uncommitted changes will be rolled back, then there is a commit and rollback. So we just confuse with that, right? So to bring some clarity, the forward phase will redo or replay all the open plus closed transactions. Okay. The backward phase will undo or rollback all the open transactions only. So this is what is the phase actually. Now what will happen in our scenario is the backward phase will not be there actually. See, because all the transactions are closed, there is no open transaction. Every transaction of 100 MB is either committed or rolled back. An open transaction is something like which is neither committed nor it is rolled back. So you, you just, for example, run a set of insert queries. Don't issue either a commit or rollback. That's it. So it's just open, right? So that's the open transaction. Okay. Now, as usual, uh, let us uh, get into an example and I'll, I'll demonstrate that. So, uh, so it will bring in some more clarity. Uh, so here, what I have done is I have created a database, uh, database woods. Uh, to save some time, I have already, uh, until this point, I have already done. So I, I'm just going to show you that. Uh, create database, database woods. Uh, enable for archival logging and configure some, see we are running, we are going to run a lot of transactions. So configure for log secondary 200 so that there is sufficient number of log files. We don't get into transaction log full error. Then, um, you have to take a backup because you are enabling the archival logging. Then connect to woods, create a table t underscore log, run this 1500 3a.sql. It is going to insert a lot of things into this uh, sample table. And it is issuing a commit. And again, then issuing the commit. Then you take an online backup of the database. So that backup is available here. So I'll show you that. <coughs> Sorry. So this Woods database is there. It has been uh, backed up, okay? So this is that online backup. Now, after the completion of the online backup, I go back to terminal one and I run this hulky.db2. So what is the content of hulky.db2? 
it is going to see this is the scenario that the slide showed right so uh, i think this is about 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 means 40 so roughly 60 mb 40 to 60 mb of transactions then there is a commit again uh, 40 to 60 mb of transactions there is a rollback then again 40 to 60 mb of transactions these are just simple insert queries uh, then again a commit again a set of transaction then again a rollback again commit rollback so that that scenario what i have i have uh, described and look at the last leg of the of the uh, file here after this commit there is not uh, after i'm opening up a transaction and i'm not saying i'm not saying anything like commit or rollback i don't say anything so i just run this query uh, run this uh, uh, db2 okay uh, run this hulky dot db2 how do i run that is like this dot space uh, that file name so after running this hulky dot db2 look at the max number of archive log files that number will be 114 uh, i think it, it is pretty much uh, repeatably you can reproduce this i am going to share all the files with you so you will have the number of archive log files in the archive location, right? Like this is the archive location. You have 114, right? Okay. So 114 is the log files. Then you do a commit. Then you do connect reset, terminate, and drop the database. So once you drop the database, you will find that this number, the, the, the archive log location will contain one more file, which is 115, okay? Do not include 115. See, this is what I'm saying. Delete the archive log files greater than this number, right? Because it should not have that commit or rollback, right? Then only it will be like an open transaction, okay? So delete all those log files, okay? Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to just restore the DB and roll forward to end of log, okay? So that is what I'm going to show you though, okay? Because this, all these other, other steps you can do, and it's taking a it, see I'm, I'm running on a low end machine so it's taking a very long time to run these transactions these are really huge so i mean I, you have to wait half an hour for that so it, I, I cannot take that <laughs> like that right so it's a waste of time so it, so i have started the restore here okay then the roll forward so roll forward to end of logs okay so roll forward to end of logs and complete all in one one shot okay then there is I'll run that also here. Okay. So it's still it's restore is going on, so it's not showing anything. Okay, roll forward started. So yeah, you can see that from three dot log, four dot log, the roll forward has started and it will go on and on and on. So let's just wait wait a little bit here. Okay. Um, then run that again. So you should see that in forward phase it should complete you see right now it is in 22.log only so it should come uh, till 114 right so if you look at this here 114 log files uh, that should be like 459 mb right you can see that so i'll run it one more time so 44 so 179 mb we have reached so this forward phase will go on it will it will go on till 114 then only the backward phase will start so the forward phase will be 450 460 mb approximately then the backward phase you can calculate the backward phase see that is the important thing see the backward phase is like the last leg of your transaction in our case right so uh, it should be roughly 80 mb so how do i say that right uh, let me show you that Okay. So you can see that this is the la this so one two three four five six seven eight I think seventeen number of uh, things are there here. So seventeen is like seventeen into four MB is how much? Uh, seventeen into four MB is okay. We are closing in. So seventeen into four MB was um. 84 MB, right? 17, if I'm correct, 88 MB something, right? Yeah, 17 into 440 plus 78. Yeah, 80 MB roughly. So we should be able to see 80 MB of transactions that is getting rolled back. Okay. So it has reached 114. So now the backward phase will start in a while. Okay. It's 
maybe it's doing something. Yeah, so the backward phase started and 80 MB, see? See that? Uh, so this much of KB, this much of MB, right? So 88 MB, right? Total work 88 MB, completed work 86. Yeah, you are not capturing that, see, uh, uh, by the time uh, it, it came 86, in the next one second, it, it completed. So uh, it has completed 88 MB, okay? So I, I, I can tell you another test case. So like what you can do here is in this hulky.db2, just give a commit here, right? And run it. You will never find that you are getting into, uh, if you give a commit or rollback in the in this last thing, you will never get into the backward phase at all. You know, see when, when I say that this backward phase will not be available, okay? If you do a commit or rollback here. So this is that uncommitted transaction, which is like the uncommitted um, open transaction. So instead of saying uncommitted, we can always say open because even rollback is also considered as a closed transaction only. So that confusion is there. So they, this was the confusion and I, I just you know misinterpreted a lot of things between, I had a tough time understanding that. So the key tip is, open transactions will be rolled back and the open transaction can appear anywhere, right? So we are choosing here as the last transaction, but the open transaction can appear anywhere in, in real time. The open transaction can appear anywhere in the, in the sequence of activity, okay? So that's, that's the tip I wanted to uh, give it to you. So hopefully this information was useful to you. Mm, what, uh, see you in the next video, video tutorial. Uh, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube uh, channel. Uh, we are uh, youtube.com slash db2luw academy. Uh, until then, bye bye.